Hello guys, today here we're doing a red snow jailbreak for 6.0.1 for the iPhone 3GS. This is a semi untail jailbreak as of now, which means if your device powers off, you'll need to connect it back up onto the computer and use this program to boot. Now you're going to need three programs you're going to need Putty Configuration, Red Snow, 0.9.13. Um, the uh, links will be in the descriptions. Um, you're also going to need one more file, which will be the kind of zip folder. It is a rather large file, as you can see here. It's not a virus or anything. Um, I've still got a wee bit to go, but it's really, really easy. So basically, once you get these files here, you're going to go on to extras. You go on to custom IPSW. Now this is a big file that you'll get, so you probably better save it to your desktop and it will come up. It'll come up straight away because these aren't IPSW files, so it should come up straight away. You'll click on it, then once it clicks onto it, you can click jailbreak, and then click next. Then obviously turn off your device and put it into DFU mode. Once you do that, your device will refigure and there won't be a CD here, so it won't be there so it's not worked so then you're going to go back onto red snow you're going to go into extras and just boot tethered right now once you boot again you'll still not have see there so what you're going to do is this is where the putty configuration comes in what you're going to do is you're going to put in your IPSW file sorry IP address um, which you can find on windows by typing in command prompt and type in IP config click enter and it's the top one so the 192.160.1.88 you're going to type this in here and make sure it's clicked as SSH you're going to click open and the command prompt will kind of open and this is where you'll need the text file that will be in the thing in the description again guys um, this is where you just copy sorry you'll need your username which would be try to think guys your username I'll put the username in the description but the password is Alpine and I'm pretty sure the username is root but after you type in the password which is Alpine you copy and paste this and then you click enter the device will reboot and you will have CD installed so I'll definitely get all the links and all the correct file names and stuff in a step by step instruction in the description so thanks for watching guys peace out